In the previous clip, we went ahead and created our shading network based on the Pixar Surface shader. So we name everything properly and we associate the files and set the attributes that we needed for this basic step to load in our textures that has been exported from Sustain Painter to Maya and Render. However, if you find that your scene sometimes has too many objects, this may be a little bit too time consuming and that's something that you want to avoid. And because we already know that all of the materials and all of the textures have and share the same type of attributes and naming conventions, because we were really strict about exporting our objects from Maya to Substance Painter and then bringing that back to Maya again and render. So let me close this. So in this icon here, you will open your script editor. With your script editor, you can create different types of scripts based on Mail and based on Python. So in this case, I create a Python script, which is more commonly used nowadays. And in this Python script will allow you to automize different type of process. In this case, our tool to apply and create our materials. So for instance, the first thing I want here and create is just import our Maya commands. So we work under the Maya framework. And then I create a definition, which is basically a function. This function will basically recreate our material, will create the same nodes, assign a name based on what we fit the tool, on the names that we fit the tool, and make all the appropriate connection between them. So as you can tell, here I create the nodes, then I connect the nodes, then I set up the attributes, then the tool will set in out the Pixar path. So this will basically assign the path to the proper texture path. And then basically, will select and apply the material or to the object. So now below that, we have our window and this is gonna be our little UI. So let me open this thing here. So in order to do that, I will hit control and enter on my keyboard. So this will open the UI. If you are interested on Python, you can develop this a little more, but for the sake of our basic trunk and applying all of our materials, this will be more than enough. So I just create and two input fields, one that is going to be the name of the material and the other one is going to be the texture pad. And the reason for this being the texture pad input field is because I'm pretty sure that your computer and your project file inside your computer will have a different texture pad than the project I'm working here on my own. So that's the reason. I just preloaded this with my current texture pad, but you can modify this to whatever global texture pad that you have. And then we have the apply material, which is going to run our function on Python that will create and apply the material based on these attributes that we are passing to this code. So let me just shrink this a little bit and start applying our materials. All right, so let me move this here. And the main thing that we have to keep in mind is that when we use this tool, it is based on the workflow that we create when we export our objects from Maya to Substan Painter and then export the textures back to Maya and render. So the main thing here is to keep the same name for the object. So in that way, what I want to do is I will start by selecting our borders here and then I will move this window here and I will type exactly the same name or the same tag that is having this geo shape. So I will type borders and there you go. And then I will hit apply. And as you can tell in the background, the object has turned white and that's because now it has applied a Pixar surface shader. Now that we have that, I will do the same thing for the other objects. So let me just zoom in a little bit so we can select this time the locks. So I will change the word for locks and then apply material. Then I will select this other object here and I will change the name to handles because that's the name or actually handle without this. And I will hit apply and then I will go to the screws. So I let me just close our camera a little bit and then I will change the name to whatever the object is named. So I will call this screws and then hit apply. So something that is worth to mention is that this tool has a if statement, which is basically a conditional that will go ahead and identify if your material exists on your scene, it will not create another one because you don't want to have duplicated materials on your scene. So it's a pretty safe tool to use. 
So now that we have this, let me just finish our materials. So I will go here and select our holders. So I will type and change the name to holders and then apply the material. And as you can tell, the holders has been created and let's just double check that everything is working. So for instance, let's go to the color and you can tell that it's bringing in the holders dash color dot tiff. It has applied the filter that we are using, which is Catmon ROM. And then we have check off the linearize option because we know that we export all of the texture from Substance Painter in a linear workflow. So now I can close our tool. I will zoom out our camera and let me try to bring our basic render window here. So let me just go here and I will go actually to panels, bring our panels here and bring our render window. And now I will select our camera and I will hit render to see the IPR and see all of our materials applied. Before I do that, actually, I have to check this because I didn't apply to the corners. So I forget one. So as you can tell, the workflow is really simple. I will bring back our tool. So this script is going to be saved under your script folder of the Maya project file. Then I will type the corresponding name, which is corners. So corners and then hit apply. So this will create the material and make the connections. Now I can close the tool and then I will frame this a little bit better. We have our HDRI from the Pixar campus that we have included with Renderman. And then I will select my camera and hit IPR. So we start rendering our object. All right, so now it's rendering. So let me bring this back. And as you can tell, all of our material has been applied and they're working really similar to what we used to have on Substance Painter. So this is a pretty solid and a standard workflow. So I will just stop this IPR. And in the next clip, we're gonna move on to the bulb materials.